Hey guys, Hidden Abilities here, and welcome to the first tutorial um, I'm making for web programming. The software you'll need for this um, for this little project is Notepad++ and yeah, just being able to browse folders. Uh, there's a link in the description for Notepad++ if you don't already have it. So without further ado, let's uh, let's save two files. One is index.htm. And sorry if the mouse looks a little spiky. I mean, it's just I'm using this one software, but like, and it it'll actually stop recording once the mouse stops for some reason. Or if there's no animation on the screen, which is okay, I guess. But if it's too annoying, I can use a different screen capture. But um, anyway, and the second one would be style.css. Now let's see if I can't remember this. As you can see, there are files here. Let's go ahead and open that. And there's nothing there. So anyway, let's get started. I call these things tags. That's probably what they're really called. Um, anyway, the HTML tag begins the HTML document. And as you can see, you got the little line there. This is why I'm using uh, Notepad++ because it makes your programming look a lot cleaner than it normally would be. So let me go ahead and explain the tabs here. This is the header tab. This is the title tab. The header tab is the heading of the document, such as the title and where you would link your CSS documents at, which I'll get over that in a second. The, the title is what displays right here, hang on, right here, where it says index.htm. Well, instead, it'll say the thing it needs to say, which is, let's make it my HTML document. Okay, uh, oh no, not say, not ending HTML. Okay, um, these are ending tabs, as I call them. Uh, you just put a forward slash and it ends the tab that you originally had. That way you don't continue to edit in that same tab. And as you can see, it should be, ch oh, I didn't save it, did I? No, I did not. Okay. Now let's try it. And there it is, my HTML document. There's the title of your page. So now, we, now we're going to link to our CSS. How we do that is, while you're still in the header tab, you would link rel equals style sheet, which is, that's what a CSS is, cascading, or cascade style sheet, I believe, this is what it is, yes. Um, there's some wiki links as well in the description if you... I'm gonna go check those out and learn a little bit more. Actually, a lot more about this. Um, type equals text slash CSS. This tells you the type of document you're gonna be importing. Pretty much, you know, you don't even really have to type this. It's just for coding purposes, I guess. I honestly never really understood it because it still works, but I'm just gonna do this as well, nice looking as I can. Uh, href, which I forget the actual meaning of that, but pretty much it, it's where the link is. So, style.css. Okay, so there we have that. Now let's end off the header tab. And something like this, um, I'm going to call these things short tabs. They don't need an ending because they're just one line. So, uh, I don't know what to call those. I'll think, I'll think of something. Don't forgive me, I'm really tired. It's 1.36 a.m. Um, now, here's the body tab. This is where all of your content is. My content. Yes. Now, let's go ahead and end the body tab and end the HTML tab. <laughs> okay, I put the forward slash. Okay. Save. As you can see, my content is. So now, we have that. Um, go over here to your style.css, go to body, or well, type rather, and then the uh, pointy little reverse arrowish thing. Uh, I really apologize, I don't know the name of this thing. It's, well, when you hold shift and you press that little half square thing. I'm really bad with keyboard stuff. So, anyway, uh, to change the text color, you would simply type color. And you would type a color, green, for example. And you would end it off like that. Save it. And 
we open it. And there you go. The text is green. So, but right now, we just want to change, let's, let's change our background. Let's just change the background. I'm going to do two tabs instead. Literally the actual tab button <laughs> on the keyboard. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's try to make something that actually looks nice. Background. Oh, let me go ahead and explain these. The number sign, and then six numbers afterwards. Okay, these are hexadecimal numbers for red, blue, or red, green, and blue colors. First two is red. FF is the maximum, which is 255. If you want to read, if you want to learn more about hexadecimal stuff, uh, there's the wiki link. If I remember to actually put it, hopefully I do remember. I have to watch this video like three times because I am so tired right now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, zero zero is the lowest. FF is the highest, which is 255. Like the first two digits are red, second two digits are green, and third two digits are uh, blue. So let's make something kind of silver, not too white exactly, but silver, by C C C C C C, evening them all out. Um, color, not cooler. It's not cooler's revenge from here. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I lost my train of thought. Oh yes. Let's make this two 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 two. You do have to have the number sign, I don't know why I didn't put it. Okay. Um the pound sign I should say. <laughs> so let's save that and see how that looks. I got that yes. Not bad. Now with the new browsers such as Google Chrome and stuff like that, and I think even Internet Explorer nine, you can do text shadow but I'll get into that later. Yeah, you can already do that now. Uh, I'll get into text shadow at a later time. But, um, yeah. So, I guess for now, I'll go ahead and let's go back to the uh, index.html and I guess I'll explain DIVs. A DIV is, well, I, I can't actually remember the exact meaning of them, but they're really good because they have, you can use an ID or a class for a DIV. Uh, there is a there is a difference, which I'll also go over that a little bit later. But for now, let's make an ID in the CSS. To do this, just pick, make a pound sign and then my ID, and then width. You can actually control the width here and everything. Width. Let's do 100. Height 50. Just just for a test. Uh, let's see. What else should we do? Oh yeah, border, black, wait, solid, one pixel, number zero zero zero. See the, the three digits is short for the first digit being red, second green, third blue, but the max is F instead of FF. What this can do, it's just like an easier way to make simple colors without having to, see for example, I'll just erase the, uh, this and, and it'll still be the same value. Each of them will equal C. Well, actually, it may be a little bit different because it wouldn't be C C. It'd be so. I believe. I believe. Let's let's go ahead and find that out here in a second. Um. But uh. <laughs> yeah, let's just end that off. Make it a little a little more even. Okay. Save and let's test. Wait, we gotta do it over here. The IV ID equals my ID. As you can see. Testing. Damn. And after this, I'll go over line breaks and paragraphs and stuff. And for some reason, it's not displaying a bold. Uh, well, if it if you ever get this kind of strange issue. Oh wait, there's no there's not supposed to be a comma there. Okay, wow, my mistake. Okay, and but you can also whoa, that's my recording software. <laughs> All right, so if you want to do the text margin, you can do margin. Well, not I mean, uh, not text margin, but if you want to align it a little different, so you can do margin two pixels, for example, and this will margin it to the right two pixels. Dang it! I keep opening my recording software. <laughs> I'm just gonna start using Alt Tab. Uh, you can also do margin left which will do the same thing. See? 
or margin top, which will, or was it, no, it was bottom, wasn't it? Margin bottom. Nope, it was top, but it doesn't want to work with Chrome. Certain things won't work with other browsers. That's that's the part that's kind of confusing, to be honest. Maybe, hold on. Do a negative. Oh, it did work. It just okay. Yeah, it did work. Didn't it? Wait. Well, let's just test and see. Yep. Okay, it works. Sometimes though, you'd be surprised. Like some common functions will just like cease to work properly on certain browsers. Okay, let me go over line breaking now. Uh, to line break something, say you have a happy face, and you want you know you can't just do this. See. Launch. Otherwise, it just puts an extra space. What you want to do instead is put a little BR short tab. There's nothing in between it or anything. A B BR stands for break. And let me show you what it is. Oh no. Okay. See, it makes a line break. But for some reason, there are two. Oh no, I thought it was two happy faces for a second. Hallucinating though. Okay, uh, let me explain paragraphs. Uh, okay, P stands for paragraph. Let's see. As you can see, it, it pretty much like a line break, but a lot farther down to represent a new paragraph. To make an extra space, so like if you say, uh, I want cookies, for example. As you can see, it won't, you know, be any more spaced. In other words, you know, it doesn't have all these spaces. So to add an extra space, and an and, ah, an ampersand or whatever you want to call it, crap, I totally got that wrong. An and sign, and you put nbsp, and then semicolon. Copy that. Paste it about three times, and this creates right here. This creates an extra space. There is a lot. There's a lot more other things like that. Um, but I think that just about does it for the first episode. Uh, next time I'll be getting into tables and stuff like that. All right, guys. Dboot Professional is the software I'm using. Go check that out. It is extremely good. Yeah, you can see the giant lag spikes that's going on though. It's really annoying. Alright guys, see ya.